that's the car that we drove not yes, so long ago. Not Harvey, too long ago. Harvey Briggs right. is here now. We were cooler than we thought. <laughs> exactly. You know, Packers, us, yeah, driving, we go. slingshots. It's all good. <laughs> now, on the other hand, <laughs> yeah. non-slingshotty. Mm -hmm. It right. is hard to believe, but with the 2018 Nissan Leaf, the company's groundbreaking battery electric vehicle has been actually part of the automotive, automotive landscape for eight years now. The oddly shaped first generation Leaf became the best-selling electric vehicle in the world, while Tesla stole all the headlines. Now completely restyled, the Nissan Leaf remains an EV for the masses. The all-new Leaf. Yes. They say turned a new leaf. They've, they've <laughs> turned, turned a new leaf. I'm sure no one's ever used that before. <laughs> Fine. So it's not the most original line, but this 2018 Nissan Leaf sure is original. This looks almost like a regular car. Almost like a regular car. Uh, you know, the, the one thing I'll challenge you to do to this is find the gas cap. You won't find the gas cap because there isn't one. The Leaf is completely powered by batteries. You don't fill it up. You charge it up. Now, if you just plug it into your outlet in the wall, right? how long is this going to take? It would take about 16 hours to get a full recharge from zero. Now, typically nobody drives a car down to zero, so if you're commuting 10 miles or 20 miles and you drive to work and back and you just want to recharge that 40 miles, you can do that overnight, no problem, with a 110. But if you got the 240... In overnight. 240, you can recharge completely pretty much overnight. And with the 2018 LEAF, that recharge will take you 150 miles, up from the previous model's range of about 90 miles. This is 150 miles right now, but at the end of the year, they're going to have a 60 kilowatt battery option that'll get 225 miles. So getting more real world. Right, right. And, and if you got the range, and you have the ability to fast charge, now you can start taking longer and longer trips with it. So it's practical. Uh, yeah. So let's get beyond the gee whiz factor of an EV. You still have to drive this thing. How does the Leaf stack up as, say, a car? It's a really nice compact car. You've got uh, a really well-designed interior. On this upgraded version, we've got nice leather, really good trim bits. There's no difference between this car and, you know, a typical... Um, Nissan uh, Sentra. Yeah, exactly. And that's exactly the point of the 2018 Leaf. You know, this car rides and drives very much like a uh, regular you know regular gas powered car uh, it's only when you realize how quiet it is that you start to think wow this is really different the great thing about a electric motor is all the torque this motor is 147 horsepower but it has 236 pound-feet of torque which is way more torque than that is in the Nissan Rogue say for example so if I keep this in regular drive mode and I give it a little gas it kind of pushes you back a little bit but it doesn't push back against your wallet this car is less expensive than the car it replaces so you get more range you get better technology, you got a better ride, you get better handling, and you're paying about $600 less than the 2017 Leaf. And everybody talks about the federal rebate, the tax rebate, right. $7,500 on these things. Yeah, you get a $7,500 rebate. Uh, they also have a program now that you get free charging for two years on this through their uh, through multiple charging networks around the country. Nissan. Nissan. Well, not only at Nissan dealers, but they'll mm -hmm. give you a uh, charge pass that's good at other charge points around the country. And, of course, uh, we talked to MG&E and they're offering deals on installed chargers at home. So you had this car for over a week. Yes, I did. Could you live with it? I could live with it. Um, the challenge comes when you have to think just a little bit. Like if I want to go to Milwaukee with it, mm -hmm. that's 87 miles. I can get there. I can't get back without charging. Mm -hmm. So I just have to think about where's the charge mm -hmm. station there, how much additional juice do I need to get back. Otherwise, it's great. It drives great. I love the one pedal driving where you never have to touch the brake. You lift off the gas and it uses the engine braking to regenerate electricity into the battery and it'll slow the car right down to a stop. So it's a little different 
type of driving, wow. but it's really but fun. It's for running training. around town. It's yeah. great for running around yeah. town, yeah. Exactly. It's great for around town. If you want to go to the Dells and back, mm -hmm. that's going to be perfect. It's a really, really good option for your second car or mm -hmm. your primary car if you don't drive that much. So just retrain the brain, though, to yeah. remember these little <laughs> details. It really is a look into the future. Yeah, it is. And we're going to see more and more electric cars come. We're going to see longer and longer range coming. Those prices on batteries are going to come down. Recharge technology will uh, be improving. It's all moving forward, and, and this is the future. All right. And you saw it. <laughs> and we're going to have the, sling, the slingshot for our final touch today. Okay. You want to okay. see Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. <laughs> we'll recap the weather right after this.